Sister Wives Mary makes fun of her catfishing incident and hints Christine about red flags. And Madison Brush reveals gender of fourth baby. Are they having a girl or boy? I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my 2S Gossip channel. In the past few years, a lot of unexpected things have happened in the Sister Wives fanbase. For instance, Christine was the first one to voice her frustration with being in a biased and toxic plural. Marriage, so she left Cody. Soon, Janelle and Mary also decided to prioritize their peace and happiness. Now, the former polygamist is down to one wife, Robin, i.e., his favorite. Among the former wives, only Janelle and Christine were the best of friends, and others got along with one another for the sake of being a family. But now that they are doing their own thing, it's easy for the ex-spouses to mingle with one another. For instance, there was a delightful moment between Christine and Mary in the new episode. What happened between them? As mentioned above, there was a disconnect among most of the sister wives. There was a reason why people began calling Mary the lone wolf of the family. But it never bothered her. When she parted ways with Cody, she was happier than ever. During Christine and David's wedding special Epsidos, Mary did say that the former didn't invite her to the event. But she never felt bad about it. She said that there was no bond between her and Christine when they were part of a plural family. So, it didn't affect her. She didn't know when the wedding was or when it was happening. All in all, she was very secure as she knew better than to force bonds that weren't meant to be that strong. However, the new episodes revealed that Christine and Mary made efforts to get along with one another. Sister Wives, Christine and Mary Bond Joke about the infamous catfish incident. As the family fallout happened in the previous Sister Wives season, Cody and Robin are miserable. But all other spouses are thriving after leaving Cody. For instance, Christine has been showcasing her life since she began dating David on the show. There was an interesting moment in the new episode as many family members gathered to celebrate Christine's daughter Gwen's wedding with her girlfriend, Beatrice. Since Gwen is also close to Mary Brown, she invited her to her party to celebrate her union. So, Christine took the liberty to introduce her to David. The former first wife could sense that he was a bit nervous. So, to defuse the tension, Christine said how she met him online and stalked him. Well, Mary was quick to joke about it and said, better be careful about that. Christine started laughing and said Mary made a good joke. That's because the latter was referencing her infamous catfish incident from 2015 where she fell in love with a supposed man who turned out to be a woman who was conning her. But both the women laughed and were glad they could laugh and joke around one another after being in an unhappy plural marriage as a family. In fact, there was no pressure for Christine and Mary to get along because they were no longer forced to do so by being a part of an unhappy plural family. Sister Wives star Madison Brush is going to be a mother again. She already has a son, Axel, and two daughters, Evie and Josephine. Hence, the TLC star has been excited to learn the gender of her upcoming baby. Maddie is spending time with her family while waiting for the arrival of the newest member. Luckily, she has her mom, Janelle, by her side as she spends more time in North Carolina this year. Madison was quite emotional since the loss of her brother, Garrison Brown. Fans were happy to have something to look forward to. The entire family was thrilled to hear the news. All of them were waiting to learn about the gender of the newest addition. What are Maddie and Caleb expecting this time? Is it a baby boy or a girl? Sister Wives star Madison Brush loves sharing her lovely moments with her kids on social media. She has been living peacefully with her husband, Caleb, in North Carolina. However, the TLC star shocked everyone when she uploaded a picture with a baby bump on social media. Maddie flaunted her baby bump to reveal that she was having a fourth baby. She shared, Baby Brush number 4 coming March 2025. Fans were thrilled to learn that their favorite star is pregnant again. Several followers congratulated the TLC star for expecting a baby again. Maddie has kept her followers updated about all the new details. Now, she has shared the gender of her upcoming baby. Will Caleb and Maddie have another son or a daughter? Sister Wives, Madison shares kids' reaction on fourth baby's gender.
Sister Wives star Madison Brush is cherishing every moment of her pregnancy. She has started a new podcast to share more about her life with her fans. The TLC star has received all the love from her family and close people for her new journey. Fans of the franchise are waiting to learn about the gender of the upcoming baby. Recently, Maddie uploaded a new picture on Instagram to flaunt her huge baby bump. She donned a black top and blue jeans to announce the baby's gender. The TLC star announced that she is having another baby girl. Madison stated, excited to share here that baby brush number four will be another little girl. She was still struggling to find the perfect name for her upcoming baby. She laughed to reveal that her only son, Axel, was struggling to accept the news. However, the TLC star's daughter, Evie, is excited to learn the baby's gender. Maddie and Caleb were excited to have a healthy and happy daughter, while their youngest daughter had no idea what was coming. Maddie also revealed on her podcast, The Authentic Society, that their fourth baby was unplanned. She explained that she was planning to be done with having children. Moreover, the TLC star's husband, Caleb, was talking to a urologist when they learned they were expecting a baby. Brush noted, it was such a shock and such a surprise. She felt that the only member disappointed with the news of a baby girl was their son, Axel. Further, he even told them that he would pray to God to change the girl to a boy. As you settle in to watch the Sister Wives season 15 premiere, you will probably have a lot of questions such as, what is wrong with Maddie and Caleb's daughter Evie? Toward the very end of season 15, episode 1 titled, Being Strong or Being AB Asterisk TCH, we see Caleb and Maddie introducing little Evie to the family. For those that don't follow the family on social media, this is when some fans first learn something is wrong with little Evie. So, it makes sense that fans would want to know exactly what is wrong with Evie or what happened to her. While, we at TV shows Ace have covered Evie's heath and medical diagnosis a few times, we are going to recap for the sake of the season 15 premiere. Sister Wives Season 15, What is Wrong with Maddie's Daughter Evie? After they unveil Evie from the car seat, Cody Brown dotes on how bright-eyed and alert his beautiful granddaughter is. Everyone seems to agree she's very bright-eyed. And, definitely interested in the world around her. Maddie clears her throat and commands the attention of the crowded room. Then, she proceeds to make sure everyone is aware Evie is a little different from what someone might expect holding a baby. She explains Evie has a condition called facto, fibular aplasia, tibial campomalia, and oligosyndactylate syndrome. A condition that has caused their daughter to be missing a few bones. This, in turn, means she has a few less fingers and toes than she should. This, however, didn't stop this baby from being adorable. Likewise, she was also in a room filled with members of the Brown family, members ready to adore her regardless. According to NCIB, this is a rare condition and a condition that lacks a standard treatment. During the episode, fans were made aware a decision would have to be made. Around the time Evie was a year old, she would need to have a surgery. Those who follow the family on social media know this decision has already been made. Maddie and Caleb decided amputation and prosthetics would be easier. On their daughter, unsurprisingly, they received a lot of negative attention for the decision to amputate. But, after talking to other people who have experience with this rare condition and weighing the pros and cons, they did what they believed was best for their daughter. During the episode, Maddie makes it clear her daughter will be fierce despite her condition. She will not allow this condition to make her daughter feel like she's less of a person. Maddie and her husband, Caleb have been very open about Evie's condition and her progress on social media. The little one seems to be thriving. Even after the amputation surgery, Women's Health magazine tells us Maddie and Caleb received a diagnosis for their daughter just 24 hours after she was born. Avangelin Brush was born on August 20, 2019. She had a thumb and a toe missing. Evie has also had a missing fibula, calf bone, in one of her legs. She has a bowed tibia, shin bone, and two of her fingers are fused together. This didn't come as a total shock for Maddie and Caleb when their daughter was born. They learned she had a congenital anomaly during a routine ultrasound. And, for those unfamiliar with the term, 
A congenital anomaly means she has fewer than 10 fingers and toes. Receiving a diagnosis for her daughter was difficult for Maddie Brown Brush. She struggled with intense mom guilt. She wondered if this medical condition was somehow her fault. Did she do something wrong during the pregnancy to cause this? What happened? I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, what did I do? Did I drink too much soda pop? And I'm feeling guilty and freaking out that there's something wrong with my daughter. Sharing Evie's diagnosis with the world was also something Maddie and Caleb struggled with. They were worried their daughter would become the victim of bullying. Here's a snippet of a very emotional Instagram post when Maddie and Caleb first decided to open up about the condition. We were hesitant to share Evie's condition publicly for fear that our infant daughter would become the target of mean jokes and cyberbullying, she wrote. That said, we felt not being open would be even worse and make Evie feel ashamed for something that makes her all the more special in our eyes. Maddie Brown Brush reassured fans that there was nothing wrong with her daughter Evie. She was healthy in every way possible. There would just be some difficulties and challenges to overcome. Maddie Brown paints Evie's prosthetic toes to make her feel normal. She continued to explain her struggle with being open. It's abnormal, and it catches people off guard, but I want her to grow up and feel proud about who she is. If I'm hiding this to protect her, is it really helpful? The season 15 premiere of Sister Wives airs tonight on TLC. But, those with Discovery Plus can check out the episode now as it is already available for streaming. Sister. Wives Cody Brown and especially Janelle worried about going broke in the last season of the TLC show. And a rash of articles emerged about their heavy debts in Flagstaff. It all came about as it took a long time to sell the Las Vegas homes. And Cody splashed out a good deal of money on land in Arizona. So, what's his net worth, and is he broke? Or did that situation sort itself out? Sister Wives, Cody Brown broke. Several times since Cody moved to Flagstaff, the question of finances arose. Most recently, fans discussed it when Christine basically asked fans to help her raise money for Isabel's back surgery. In July last year, Christine Brown took to her LuLaRue Facebook group. There she mentioned that she hopes to find $50,000 for surgery. Fans slammed Cody for not using his money wisely. Later, TLC fans heard that Isabel successfully got her back surgery. And possibly fans helped with that. In January this year, we reported that apparently, Cody, Brown's still broke. And, he, seems plagued by debt. The sister wives patriarch has four wives and a lot of debt. He still owes over $3,000 on the Brown's home. And he owes money on the Coyote Pass property. He and Robin still owe about $1,000 on their home. And much of this apparently comes from taxes or rolled over tax penalties. Actually, Radar Online often writes on the subject of tax debt. What is Cody's net worth? The Cinemaholic checked out the net worth of Cody Brown. And, he's technically not broke. In fact, the net worth of Cody sits at around $1 million. But, most likely, most of his cash is tied up in all those houses and properties in Flagstaff. Net worth's great for borrowing money, but not all that practical if the wallet's empty. If he sold off all the properties he owns and moved all his wives into one house somewhere else, he'd most likely be quite flush. NerdWallet explains that, the overall median net worth of US households is $121,700. But Cody's many wives and kids might erode his $1 million. So, presumably, if you divide his net worth by four, he's not really wealthy. Something that possibly plagues sister wives Cody Brown relates to him being cash poor and not in a position to save actual cash. TLC fans know that Mary Brown bought her ancestral home and runs a BNB. But presumably, her mom Bonnie and the staff draw salaries. Small, the paro and based Lizzie's heritage in is unlikely to be a huge money spinner. In fact, the wives like Christine and Mary probably make more money off their LuLaRue businesses. Apart from the sister wives show, it's not clear what Cody contributes to the family coffers, if anything. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box and subscribe our channel.